The images on the coffin represent the beliefs of one man named Nesman, who lived long time ago in Egypt. The coffin itself is covered with images of gods and prayers that would make his journey to the afterlife possible. Many of these hieroglyphs focus on Nesmin's titles and genealogy. We know from the inscriptions on the coffin that Nesmin, during his lifetime, was a priest in the temple of the god Min, the god of fertility. We also know that he was a priest of the god Khonsu, who was a healing and a moon god. It's also covered with images of gods that will serve to protect him in his perilous journey to the afterlife. On the interior of the coffin are images that were meant only for Nesmin. Above him you would see protective creatures of the sky, and below him would have been the goddess Newt protecting him in a perpetual embrace. Another prominent image on the coffin is Nesmin lying on his funerary bier with his Ba spirit in the shape of a bird flying overhead. Below him are four canopic jars which held the internal organs of the deceased. The Egyptians believed that the gods had skin of gold. You'll also notice that his hair is blue. The Egyptians believed that the gods had hair of lapis lazuli, a valuable blue stone. The Egyptians believed that death was not really the end of, of human life. They believed that certain aspects of a person had to be preserved. And one of those things was a person's physical body. And so they mummified people to preserve their bodies and also to make them look like the deities that they hoped to be in the company of in the afterlife. Not everyone in Egypt was mummified. It was only available to the privileged classes of society. And Nesmin was one of those. And Nesmin, I think, would have hoped for an afterlife in the company of the gods that he had served.